Help could be at hand for Britain's big retailers in the form of high-spending Chinese tourists. Britain is a more popular destination than ever, but Chinese shoppers aren't confining their trips to London. Some are travelling to the quiet village of Street in Somerset. And they're not just going for the scenery, it's also because it's the home of Clark's Shoes. It's just one of the famous British brands increasingly popular in China. Phil Lavelle's at the Shoe Museum in Street for us this morning. He's already shown us the biggest shoe in the world. What else have you got? Morning, Phil. Yeah, morning. In fact, I'm going to show it to you again because if you didn't fancy, if you didn't know you were going to see a world record, take a look at it. This is the biggest shoe in Britain, obviously built to last. I don't know who wore it, but um, it's in great condition. And it's this kind of craftsmanship that is bringing Chinese visitors to this country because they know that the best of British is really the kind of stuff that will last. In fact, we're going to show you a few numbers just to drive home these points because if you were a Chinese visitor coming to this country, you could save at least... 30% on average British goods, and that's because in China, import taxes, etc., are levied on those goods. And the Chinese are going for the typical British products, the very quaint English things. So, for example, your Burberry items with that distinctive pattern, uh, Clark shoes, and also Scotch whiskey. Uh, and it's proving to be really, really popular. And part of the reason is because the Chinese visitors know that they are getting the genuine article. Because don't forget, China is the world's largest producer of counterfeit goods. So perhaps holding a designer handbag there perhaps doesn't have the same kind of clout as it would here. So here, the, uh, the visitors know they are getting what is definitely something that is uh, definitely made here in this country. And they are spending their money in quite large amounts. The average Chinese visitor in this country gets through around £600. In fact, we were told by uh, the new West End company, which operates the busy areas of Oxford Street, Regent Street and Bond Street in London, so that huge tourist bubble that takes a lot of money, that Chinese visitors spend more than any other nationality other than the British, around £3 million goes into tills courtesy of Chinese visitors in this country. And we've got a couple of people who can give us some more insight. We've got Stephanie Cheng, who is a Chinese tour operator. We've also got John Turner from the uh, Somerset Tourist Association. Stephanie, just first of all, tell us, we're saying uh, you can save at least 30%, but the Chinese are being very frugal here because you could save potentially even more than that. Yes, you could potentially save up to 60% when you're taking into account the tax refund at the airport. So all that saving could be could mean that a return flight tickets for the Chinese tourists. So it's a great value coming to here. So is this people sitting in the Far East and saying, actually, it's great because I can go do all my shopping there, or is it just a kind of added extra? It is an added value because Chinese love to travel and love history. So when they actually can do that as well as the shopping, that's brilliant. What's so good about British goods? Why are they so obsessed with British produce? When you actually visit a country, you really want to have something made or famous of that country. And um, that's why they actually put particular interest in these um, brands. OK, and John, presumably you're very pleased that the Chinese are coming here. Uh, absolutely. We're, we're very, very excited in terms of the Somerset Tourism Association and the county of Somerset. And we're working very closely with China Holidays and with Somerset County Council to make sure that Somerset is the number one destination for all our Chinese visitors outside of London. What can you offer them? Because China and Somerset are probably two words you wouldn't tend to put together in the same sentence, are they? I think that the Chinese are really looking for that quintessentially English uh, theme and they're looking for that chocolate boxy type uh, village feel which Somerset has an awful lot of and with those iconic brands like Cheddar and Glastonbury Festival Somerset has got something really unique to offer. Without being too London centric you would imagine that most tourists would stay around that area because that's where the international flights from China would tend to go into maybe go to Edinburgh to, to some of the larger tourist destinations. How do you get around the travel issue because it's a good two three hour drive to Somerset. It is and again that's why obviously we're working with the experts in the field like China Holidays and, and other tourism bureaus to actually organize trips out of London to come and visit the, those other sites uh, and counties that, that need to be recognized as having something to offer the international traveler. Great, John. Thank you very much. Thank so you. they are coming from uh, from all over, and not just for the uh, for the shopping, but also for the music. Because did you know that among the Chinese, Glastonbury is extremely popular too? All right, Phil. Thanks very much.